Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to my journey in beauty. Today's video is my second update on my hashtag let's get naked pan that palette pan project. I'll give you a live gander at the palette so you can see as well as I'll insert some pictures while I'm talking. <laughs> My goals last month were to hit pan on the shade Limit, Buzz, and Factory. I feel like I was relatively successful because I did make a dip in a couple of those shades. However, not so much on Buzz. I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking that I was concentrating on Burnout, which is this shade, but it was supposed to be Buzz, which was this shade. <laughs> so, you know, it happens. The brain wasn't working. Otherwise, I think I made some notable progress on both this matte shade Limit, as well as this shade, nope, I lied, this shade Factory right here. Um, and I really do like those colors. I liked them together. I liked them paired with other colors. One color that I really noticed this month that I like and I didn't really try it before was this one right here, which is Liar. And I'm going to swatch it for you because that's what I did as I swatched it and I was like, ooh, I really like that. And it's a really nice shimmery mauve shade. Also, I did have a little sticky note inside my palette this month and marked a hashtag or a hash mark or whatever every time that I used this palette for the month. So I felt like I did a pretty good job and I did use my palette 15 times this month. So I feel like that's really good. I shouldn't say this month, I should say since the last update. Um, for me, that's relatively good, especially because I am panning another palette. Sometimes I do use these in conjunction with each other. This was my partner palette that I paired with this last month to give myself a little variety as well as continue trying to meet goals on this other pan project. The shades that I would like to concentrate on this month are a few shades that I really haven't reached for much yet, if at all, and those are Mugshot, Dark Side, and Buzz this month. I think those will pair nicely together. They're all cooler tones. Um, and I just like to make, again, noticeable dips in those shades. And what, if anything, am I learning about this palette? One thing, it's quite a bit more versatile than I thought it was going to be, especially this shade right here called Trick is very tricky because while this looks like a very cool tone palette, I find that this shade Trick looks more warm than anything. Not my best swatch I've ever done, but you can see that it's kind of a rose gold but more to the gold side than the rose side if that makes sense. One thing that I'm really glad that I am learning through this project is that I actually do really like this palette from Urban Decay. When I first bought it and I've mentioned this in other videos I immediately felt uninspired by it and I kind of bought it just because most people own a naked palette especially if you're a YouTuber and so um I really wanted to dive into this palette and find ways that I really enjoy it and I absolutely am doing that. So I feel like I'm meeting goals all the while and that's it. It's kind of a short and sweet update for you guys. I am going to have linked below all of the ladies who are participating in this project as well as a playlist of everyone's videos so that you can stay up to date on everyone's progress. I hope all of your makeup days are beautiful makeup days and we will see you in the next one. Bye!